Now, what do you understand by asset? I don't know the definition. I know that um, anything tangible which you own is your asset, whether it's your... Uh, it can be non-tangible also, right? It can be non-tangible also. Goodwill, the yeah. goodwill of your company, the goodwill of Ashwini sure. is also an yeah. asset for Ashwini, Ashwini, right? Sure, sure. Know-how, know-how is also a, the, uh, the technical knowledge what you have, it's also an asset for you, right? Sure. So, so it's not tangible or non-tangible. Okay. It's something from which you can earn something, right? You can produce something. You can get a revenue okay. for, from, for a, lo a longer period of time. Yeah. Right. But eventually, yeah. uh, whatever you do, it will depreciate, right? Whatever you do. Yeah, either it will depreciate or it will appreciate. The sure. Mostly, what if it is a tangible asset, asset it will be de depreciate, right? Sure. Talk about machine, uh, computers, mobile phones, whatever. From which you are getting a benefit for a long time, it's an asset. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, furniture and fixture, plan, machine, all are asset. Right. Now, yeah. uh, as for the accounting law, all these assets are grouped differently. Right. They are treated differently. Sure. Right. Yeah. You cannot depreciate a mobile phone by fifty percent, but uh, hmm. in the similar way, you cannot depreciate the uh, laptop with the same amount of fifty percent. Right. It should be a sure. uh, statutory thing, right? It should be defined in somewhere that it should be a 10% for mobile phone, uh, for laptops or computer it should be a 5%, for plant it will be a 10%, it needs to be defined, right? By something sure. uh, government authority or income tax authority, right? You cannot, mm. uh, you cannot depreciate as your wish, right? Okay. And, and uh, since it is the one of the be, um, most important part in your balance sheet, right? If you see, yeah. there is two things in the balance sheet. One is liability, one is asset. So asset itself has a whole block, right? So you can have a current asset, you can have a uh, fixed asset, you can have a uh, multiple type of asset, right? So you need to define them based on your uh, type of uh, accounts that you have in your company, right? Yeah. So itself in FICO, asset is a separate module itself. So, mm -hmm. if, uh, so we say it's FIAA, Financial Asset Accounting. Okay. Okay. So, uh, asset accounting is itself is their own uh, enterprise structure. Mm -hmm. right? When you talk about the GL, GL have their own enterprise structure, the company code, uh, chart of account, everything, right? Sure. Right. In asset also, it have their own enterprise structure, but we it falls okay. under the below the company code level, right? Okay, since because I always thought asset, just a, just one question, I always thought asset is a procurement uh, activity. No, 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 no. It's not, no a okay, okay. it's not a procurement activity. You can say it's okay. a procurement activity, but how it's, um, let me give you an example of how it is a procurement activity, but everything is not a procurement activity, it's a totally a financial activity. But is sometimes but it's also the part of the procurement. The thing is that uh, suppose raw material, right? Yeah. Raw material, it's a procurement, right? But it's a part mm. of your stock, so it's a part of your asset. Yeah. Right. So yeah. you can say, yeah, it's a part of procurement, but it is it is specially uh, especially treated in the uh, financials. Yeah. 